Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you how I created these nail swatch wheels. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see this video in my uh, Zoya nail polish haul. If you guys missed that haul, definitely check it out. I'll link it down below with everything else. So in today's video, I am going to go step by step show you how I created uh, my nail swatch wheels to organize all of my colors of my nail polish collection. So uh, yeah, if you want to know how I did it and all the tools and things I purchased, then definitely keep on watching. All right, so a few things you will need. I did purchase all of this from Amazon. I will have everything linked down below so you guys can see everything and know what I used and purchased. So the first thing I ordered were a huge pack of these nail swatch sticks. They came in this huge box and I think there was three or four sets. And there's a lot, I don't, re I don't even remember how many. I think there's like 100, 100, 150. There's a lot, so they just came in these plastic bags here you have all your swatch sticks and a ring so the ring sort of holds them all together and it just opens up like so and then you put your swatch on here so that doesn't slide off so the second most important thing you're going to need is a label maker i think it was around 30 bucks and so far i really like it i have printed out a ton of labels and so far it's performed really great I will say that this came with a cartridge, but it did come with a white background and black lettering. So you will have to purchase um, a slightly different one and I will link below the dimensions and which one I, exactly I purchased because that's how I got the clear, sort of clear background with the black lettering. I think looks just so much better. It looks nice and clean and simple and it's not distracting having that bright white label on there. But again, if you like that sort of thing, you can do it. But this one fits on here perfectly. Another thing I would suggest picking up is a top coat. You can pick up a cheap one, whichever one you want to choose. But I do recommend after you apply about two coats of your nail color, on the swatch stick, seal it with a top coat. That way, when it's you know rubbing up against and clicking against all the other <laughs> colors here, it's not gonna get all nicked up. It's gonna really protect it. And also, just makes it look nice and shiny because sometimes when you apply nail polish to these plastic nail, uh, nail swatch sticks, um, the finish can be kind of more matte than super glossy, so you will need a top coat. So those are really the main three things you're going to need in order to do this. Again, you don't have to, but if you want the results of how I did it, then you will need these. Now I already did these a few days ago off camera because this was very time consuming. I, I don't think you wanna sit and watch me do all of these. So I didn't film me doing all of my Zoya nail polishes, but I will show you a few examples and demo um, on how I label them, how I how I do everything pretty much. So if you guys want an up close look, little demo on how I put some of these together, uh, then definitely keep watching. Let's get into the demo. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready. So I'm gonna be doing four different nail colors today. So I'm gonna pull out four swatch sticks and I like to organize and have everything nice and laid out so that I don't get confused and accidentally swatch the wrong color on the wrong swatch stick. So here is my label maker. Now it does come with a cartridge, but unfortunately it's too wide and it does not fit on these swatch sticks. So I recommend getting one that's a lot smaller and I will link that down below in the description box. So this one I like because it does have a clear background. So here's the four colors I have and I also have my top coat ready. I'm just gonna warm up each nail polish color between my hands so that I don't get any air bubbles. That's the best way to sort of of mix your nail polish bottles that we don't get any goopiness with the colors. So now that I have them all laid out, I'm going to place one swatch stick in front of each color and then we're going to go ahead and print out the labels. So here is what my label maker looks like and my sort of setup. Now depending on which label maker you have, Yours might be different than mine, but I kept the font on all caps and I believe I did a size 12 with the font. Again, you can really customize this, but I just kept it simple. So I'm just gonna look at the name of the bottle 
uh, the name of the color on the bottom of each bottle and go ahead and type that out. And I like to use a little dash symbol. Uh, you can see there, there's so many symbols to choose from. You can really get fancy with it, but I just kept it simple. So I'm just going to type out the name of the shade, which is Snow Worries. And we're just going to print that out and cut it off. Use a little chopper on the side. And there you go. There's your label. And now it's just a matter of lining this up how you want to. So if you want to read them all from right to left or left to right. So this is how I did all my Zoya swatches. And I really like reading them this way. <laughs> so I like to kind of keep them all in the same direction. So it's another thing you want to pay attention to. So now I'm just trimming off the excess on each side just to get a nice clean application with the label. And you're just going to peel it off and stick it on to the stick. Now I like to be very careful and try to line it up not right to the edge where the hole is because you don't want it to get all messed up. So just a little bit away from the um, hole there where you're going to put it through with the, um, the hook. So now I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this part and pretty much just do the same to all the nail colors and now I usually if I'm doing a lot at once I'll go ahead and print all of them out and just let them sit on top of the swatch and then I'll go through and trim all of them and apply all the labels if that makes sense so definitely take your time you want them to look nice and even um, so don't try to rush it too much so that's how I usually do it. I'll just let it sit there. So I did the rest off camera just to save some time here. And once you have that all done, now we're ready to apply the polish. So I like to do one even coat on each swatch stick and go through each one. Let them dry completely and do a second coat. Uh, not too difficult to do, but it does take some time, but you really want to let it dry well in between each coat. And then once you're done doing that, then you can apply a top coat. I definitely rec recommend doing that because it prevents the swatch from getting kind of like damaged or nicked because it's going to be pressed up against all of the other shades. So keep that in mind. So I like to do two coats of the color, then apply the top coat, and then let them dry overnight. So this is the result of how they turned out, and I think they actually turned out really nicely. And again, you also want to take your time with applying the color, because I do notice that cleaning up the edges is really difficult. So here's how mine turned out. Um, I really love these orderly colors. They're so, so pretty. I only own four, but you know... I'll have to grow my collection at some point. So that's pretty much it, you guys. You just want to take your time, go through. Now, I do recommend letting these dry overnight and then apply them to your little hook there. <laughs> that way they don't get all, you know, nicked or damaged or smudged, if you will. So here's just a final look at my Zoya swatch wheel. It's so much fun to organize all of these, and it's nice to see all the colors you have in your collection. So... That's pretty much it. I hope you found this helpful and yeah. All right guys, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I just love how these turned out. I love my little swatches. It's so much easier now picking out a nail color and also just kind of seeing really quickly what shades you do have in your nail polish collection. It's just a great way to stay organized and to see what you have and to have an actual physical swatch so you can hold it up to your nail. So I just love that. So uh, again, all the products I use will be linked down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And of course, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss out on new videos on every Tuesday and Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, check out my other nail videos that I've done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.